Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now recently, I did a video about the only four ways to build muscle, which was obviously about building muscle, getting stronger, and also losing fat. Now in that video, I explained what to eat, what not to eat, and so forth, and I quickly mentioned how you should not eat peanuts. And I've actually men mentioned this in a couple other videos. Well, I got a lot of questions as to why this is, right? How can peanuts be bad for you since they're just, you know, have good fats and lots of proteins, vitamins, and minerals? And this is a fair question, and I will answer quickly today. And to begin with, first of all, peanuts are not nuts. They're actually legumes and thus part of the bean family. Now, most people don't know this. Now, as to why you should avoid peanuts, there are a few important reasons. First of all, it's allergens. To begin with, some people are just deathly allergic to peanuts. For a small percentage of the people, peanuts can literally kill them. Of course, the majority of people aren't as allergic to peanuts, but if you ate enough of them long enough, the allergens start to build up and you will have allergic reactions, even if they're mild and subtle. Obviously, it won't kill you, but it also won't improve your health either. The next thing is that people will say how peanuts are just, you know, healthy foods because it has carbs and proteins and fats, but the protein doesn't contain all the essential amino acids. And the next problem is the fat content. It's fairly high in omega-6 fats and linoleic acid. Now, the omega-6 fats cause inflammation in many diseases, such as heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, you know, fat gain, cancer, autoimmune disease, and so forth. They also compete with the healthy omega-3 fats, which is obviously not what you want. Next big problem is aflatoxins. Now, most people don't know, but peanuts actually grow underground where they tend to be colonized by a fungus called aspergillus, a source of aflatoxins, which are toxic and just highly carcinogenic and basically cancer-causing. Now, humans are actually fairly resistant to this acute short-term effects of aflatoxins, but unfortunately, continued exposure does cause a buildup. Additionally, fungus tends to just grow on its own, and thus even if you stop eating peanuts, the fungus continues to grow inside of you and over time can become toxic. Now, studies in human link aflatoxin exposure to liver cancer, stunted growth in children, and also mental retardation. Now, this is very important for all the parents giving your kids peanut butter daily, and I suggest you stop that. I'll give you alternatives to this in a minute. The next problem is that peanuts are also high in lectins, which is bad for your health. Again, causing all of the typical problems of diseases, inflammation, weight gain, memory problems, joint pain, and diabetes. Now, there are healthy alternatives, right? I already know that peanuts taste yummy, right? There's no denying that, especially when it's roasted and, you know, lightly salted. And in small amounts eaten occasionally, they should be fine for most people. However, I suggest you switch to other nuts, especially if you're giving your kids peanut butter. Instead, eat almond butter or walnut butter or hazelnut butter. These are much healthier nuts and still taste great. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. Also, do me a big favor and let me know what topics you want me to cover in my videos. I have a special link below in the description area that you can fill out a quick form and it goes directly to my private email box. And it basically helps me make videos that you want to watch about topics that you're interested in. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.